An annual crime report from Sumter Police shows a 16% overall increase in crimes committed compared to 2022, with car-related crimes driving up those numbers. Sam Shapiro spoke with the Sumter Police Department earlier on today to learn about what's being done to lower those totals. Chief Russell Wark told me today the number of cars broken into and that are stolen are what's steering the numbers in the wrong direction. But he also mentioned what his department is doing to help find these stolen vehicles and prevent more of them from being taken. Quincy Timmons lives in the city of Sumter. He's had his Hyundai broken into three times since February 15th. After the first two times, he decided to take extra security measures by buying himself a wheel lock. It didn't look like they really tried to mess with the ignition or anything like that. It kind of seemed like they saw the wheel lock at that point and just, you know, it kind of dissuaded them from trying to steal the car, or trying to mess with it anyways. Data compiled from Sumter PD shows that from 2022 to 23, there has been a 91% increase in the number of auto break-ins and a 35% increase in the number of auto thefts. From January 1st until March 28th last year, 26 vehicles were stolen. 2024 isn't showing signs of improving, with 49 vehicles being stolen. Timmons says he decided to get himself one so that if his car was broken into again, the lock would ensure it wouldn't be stolen. Sort of like a peace of mind, because, you know, if they do break into my car, that's one thing. But the biggest, I guess, concern is them stealing the car. Chief Russell Wark encourages others to use this to help prevent car theft. The chief says 59% of the stolen vehicles in Sumter this year are Kias and Hyundais. He says the reason is due to a flawed design in the ignition system, allowing thieves easier access to start the vehicle. This has led both manufacturers to issue recalls. He says in addition to partnering with Hyundai to help get more car owners steering wheel locks, the department has been educating officers on how to more efficiently recover stolen vehicles. A process has been developed by which we can better identify the types of vehicles that are being stolen uh, more quickly and then provide that information to the officers uh, that's, that are patrolling to be on the lookout for those types of vehicles and that's, that has uh, proven to be very fruitful. Chief Work also told me today they currently have 20 steering wheel locks right here at the department and they encourage residents in the city to come out while supplies last if people feel their car needs the extra protection. Reporting in Sumter, Sam Shapiro, WIS News 10.